So guys, yesterday I took all of you inside that crawl space with us and showed you how we were hand digging that inside perimeter French drain line. Today, not only are we going to get all that pipe inside all that drain line, but currently Misty and Nick are both inside there lining out our entire drain lines with our drainage fabric. And I'm going to take you guys underneath here with us right now at the beginning of the day to show you guys what it looks like now. And then at the end of the day, I'll try to show you guys what it looks like whenever we're finishing up because at 4.01 PM yesterday, yes, we had that trench completely dug and we did that in one day. I usually don't get to show you all these intimate details on these projects, but we always like to use our four inch perforated drain pipe with the filter sock. And we use that on all of our inside perimeter French drain projects inside crawl spaces. Now, as we squat down here and take a look at what we are facing today, remember yesterday you already seen all this major major dirt that we've got mounded up all the way around the perimeter of this crawl space we did luckily find several low points over here i'll take you guys in that direction really fast if you look over here as we come up around these piers i may have to drop down and go underneath this line really fast just hang on guys don't get off here just yet i want you to see this Ugh. so look at those piers right over there and it's right here beside me to my left from there all the way over through there that area is all low as you can see so what we are going to attempt to do today is take the majority of all that mud that we dug up yesterday and get all of that over here into this low area to help better level that ground before we begin running our poly for our encapsulation project stay tuned guys we'll talk to you guys a little bit later today guys i gotta tell you all something hilarious so first and foremost my buddy nick ferris over here he and i have been friends since i was like 12 or 13 years old we used to bowl on the same team together a lot of you might not know it but you're all talking to the 1997 tennessee state champ baby Woo! <laughs> and now Nick, I want you to tell everybody what you just told me about your friggin' $2,000 wedding band yesterday. I got up this morning and I was like, babe, where's my wedding band? She's like, oh God, you lost it. And I'm like, I'm serious. I don't know where it's at. And she's like, well, where's it at? I'm like, well, look and see if I left it in the house. Couldn't find it nowhere. Lo and behold, just found it in the glove. God, can you have, how lucky is that? You say it cost $2,000? $2,000, $2, guys. Bad. He said, they're telling me. I was like, dude, did you really lose it under here? I was already heartbroken. He goes, Ted, it was in my friggin' glove. Now, is that lucky or is that lucky? Dude, I was like, man, I'm going to be going all through this mud looking for this big $2,000 diamond. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, guys, I just had to share that story with you. We got to get back under here and get back at it. almost 10,000 pounds of this drainage rock all the way around here to get us ready to get under this crawl space. Uh, uh, guys, this is the last load here. We've got nearly 400 pounds on this. And guys, this will be 63 bags of drainage rock brought total over here. Uh, and now all of this has got to go in there and guys you don't even know how refreshing it is to look back there and see those empty pallets terry took one of the empty ones with him but we got the other two here left to pick up 9450 pounds to be exact of solid ass drainage rock has all been pulled back around to the back of this house all by hand all by misty nick and myself, we have gotten all 9,450 pounds of rock ready to begin bringing it inside the crawl space. We have also got more than 200 feet of our drain line already lined out inside that crawl space. That is all sitting within our drainage fabric. So as a quick checkpoint today, all drainage fabric has been laid. All drainage pipe is in place. 
the basin pit was finished being dug. I have not added the basin yet. It is still in the truck. We've gotten all the rock back here. And guys, tomorrow, you know what that means. We've got to begin getting all that placed inside all the trenches where it needs to be. And then, hopefully, by the end of tomorrow, we'll be nearing getting ready to start putting down our new 6 mil ground vapor barrier before we begin installing any of our super thick 20 mil poly that you guys are so used to seeing in all of our crawl space encapsulation projects here at Tennessee Technicians. If you too are battling a moisture problem inside your home, you know where to find us, crawlspaceartist.com, artist is plural, and if you're serious about getting some work done, you know it's going to cost you $250 to have me come to your house, but if you want that done, give me a shout at 423-503-0512, you already know how we do, and guys, we'll see all of you inside that next video.